the, the quickest way to get really good at anatomy is to utilize it as often as you mm. can. And that means, uh, and, and verbalize it as well. So I'm a big fan of, I, I've learned, the, the stuff I learned the most is the stuff I'm using to teach. Mm. And I realized only not so long ago that a good consultation is full of teaching. You're always teaching your client things. And many clients, probably about a third of people have the type of personality where they're really interested. The other two thirds are like, I'm glad you know it, but you don't have to tell me everything. <laughs> um, and, and the other third are like, oh, it's so boring. I'd rather talk about something else. Each to their own, you know, but it's but there's definitely an opportunity within the consultation and within the actual treatment to show off what you know, even if that's something really basic. It, and that basically that's what crystallizes your knowledge. If you start to explain to every patient that you see that the reason that their cheek is slightly narrow is because their lateral fat pad is, is shrinks and it tends to shrink before the medial fat pad. That, that just goes in like it's, a, it's only you're only talking about fat pads, but it becomes part of your mental model, too, because you're thinking about it every day. Mm -hmm. Your brain does is programmed to forget irrelevant stuff that doesn't need. So it, it doesn't just remember it just because you want it to remember all the anatomy. It has to be useful to it. Mm -hmm. So make it useful by using it with your patients.